Whether you're on Wii or Wii U, by the end of this video you'll be set up to play Retro Rewind, one of the most popular Mario Kart Wii mods. I'll show you how to install the actual mod, along with getting the proper forwarder channels installed. And yes, you can even load it from your Wii U menu thanks to Sammy Goes Howdy. More on that later, of course. All you need for this guide is your homebrewed Wii or Wii U, including the virtual Wii, along with an actual copy of Mario Kart Wii. If you don't have the disc, don't fret, there is a way to play through Dolphin Emulator without it, and I'll have a link to that guide in the description if you would rather do that. We are ready to get started with the downloads. I will have two links down below. It's a very easy setup, but if you click on the first one, it'll take us to the Retro Rewind mod page. But in order to get the mod, on the right side here under download, click the Google Drive link. It'll take us to the Google Drive, and just hit download and then download anyway. And that will get us the Retro Rewind zip file. And that is the only download you'll need if you're on the Wii. If you are on the Wii U and you would like the Wii U forwarder channel, click the second link down below and it'll take us to Sammy Goes Howdy's Wii U forwarders page. And the one we are gonna grab is RetroRewind.wub. So click on this one and then on the right side of the page, hit the download raw file. And there we go, we are good to go. And now you can open up the SD card you use to mod your Wii or Wii U and your downloads on the left. So this is a very easy setup. You do need an extraction software like 7-Zip. Go ahead and open the zip file and we're gonna highlight these three folders right here. Grab them and drag them onto the root of your SD card. This is the same whether you are on Wii or Wii U. And those are on there. Next up, if you do not already have a WAD folder, I have it from a previous video for Nintendo and USB Loader GX. If you do not have one, just go ahead and create it, WAD. In the zip file, there are two WADs. The first one is for Wii. So if you're on Wii, grab the RetroRewind.WAD and place it in your WAD folder. If you're on Wii U, grab the one that says Wii U. It's pretty simple. I'm on Wii U, I'm gonna place my Retro Rewind Wii U WAD in my wad folder so it's in there and i'm just gonna quickly hide nintendo and usb loader gx in a used folder you don't have to do that if you don't want but once you have double checked you have the right wad in there we can exit the zip file we can delete it from our computer and if you're on wii you are completely set up but if you're on wii u we are going to add the web file so on the root of your sd card go into wii u go into apps and place it inside of there. Hit yes if Windows prompts you, and you can delete it from your computer. So now we're completely done with the SD setup, so let's eject our SD card and head over onto our Wii or Wii U. And for those of you on Wii U, you will notice the forwarder channel right here on the screen, but we cannot use it yet, not until we install the VWii forwarder channel. So you guys can go to the Wii menu. All right, so no matter which console you're on, we're on the same page. At this point, make sure your Mario Kart Wii disc is inserted and let's head into the homebrew channel. And once your apps load up, we're gonna find Retro Rewind. Click on it and press load. So as you can see, this is where you launch the actual mod itself. You can also change options, including your My Stuff Pack. But now that we know the app works and you know how to load it through the homebrew channel, Let's exit and get the forwarder channel installed to our Wii or VWii menu. So now we are going to go down to YAM Mod Me Edition, load it up. And then once you see this page, select your source device. Most of you will be on SD slot. Press A on SD slot and you should see your WADs. It should go automatically into your WAD folder. As you can see, I got my Retro Rewind Wii U WAD. I'm just going to click A and A again to install it. But press any button to continue and we're good. You can press the home button. It'll take us back to the homebrew channel. And then we can go back to the system menu. And there we go. We can now load Retro Rewind from your Wii menu or your VWii menu. And I gotta say, it's a pretty cool forwarder. If you are on Wii U and you have the Wii U forwarder channel, we can now load from that as well. So I'm gonna go back to my Wii U menu and load it from there. If you're on Wii, you can load it from here. So there we go, we can load it. And it looks pretty clean. Sammy did a good job. 
So there we go, it's loading up. If we're lucky, it won't work and you'll get a message that kind of just tells you to load it through the app in the homebrew channel. Don't worry, that's normal and it doesn't break your system or anything. But most of the time, both forwarder channels work. But now that we're here, we have our shortcuts to the mod. Let's launch it. And remember, you do need your internet connection set up if you want to play online. And there we go. ZPL also has a feature where it tells you the version you are on. This is important for online because you do need to be on the latest version. So it says right on the title screen. But we can load in there, create a license if you don't have one. And if you want to play with me on stream, I will put my streaming license on as this is not my main Wii U console. But just load in. If you want to explore the mod in offline mode, you can go into single player, but I'm sure a lot of you are going for the online feature. So just load into Retro WFC. Retro Rewind uses Wii Link, which is different than CTGP Revolution as they use WimFi. Just go through the prompts on your first load, and then it will try to connect. And there you go. Welcome to Retro WFC. So if you want to get your friend code, go into your friends. And this is your friend code on the screen here. This is also where you create a room or join a room. And before we hop into a worldwide, in the top right, we can change our settings. So you can enable fast menus and it will speed up your menu transitions. You can change your track layout if you want to alphabetical. You can set it to automatically boot to Retro WFC to a specific license. If we go over to Race, you can change it to Me Heads. You can add draggable blue shells. You can change your host settings when you host a room. This is pretty good for streamers or if you want to host your friends. If you go to Rewind, you can change it to All Inside Drift. Yes, that means there's no outside. And if you're crazy, you can do all outside. So you can do an outside drift flame runner. <laughs> change it to intense CPU if you want to change it offline to make it a little more difficult. Definitely a good way to practice. So once you go around looking through all the settings, just hit save. But if you want to play online, you can play a time trial worldwide or a retro worldwide. So right now it's early in the morning. It's hard to find a room, but if you have a computer, there is a program called Wheel Wizard. I will switch over to my monitor real quick. And this tells us that there's 18 people online. So if you want to set this up on your computer, go to my Dolphin setup and I show you how to do it there. But there you go, guys. You should be fully set up to play Retro Rewind. If this guide helped you out, I would greatly appreciate it if you could smash that like button. That really helps me out. And if you're interested in more modding tutorials or playing with me on stream, I love to host rooms for everybody. Make sure to hit that subscribe and the bell notification so you don't miss when I upload. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Stay funky and happy modding. <laughs>